Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan Raleigh. Today it's time for another battle. I'm pitting two unlikely competitors against each other. You write down in the comment section which one you would pick if you could. 2019 TRD Off-Road Tacoma versus 2019 TRD Off-Road Forerunner. You decide. The reason for this comparison battle today is multifaceted. A lot of customers come in and want to test drive both of the vehicles to see which one's a better fit. On face value, you would think that maybe it's just a matter of do you want a covered cargo space or do you want an open bed? But these vehicles have so much in common and also so many differences that it's a fascinating discussion. First, I'll talk about differences in the front end. Then I'm going to give you some overall specifications so you can kind of get the big picture. Tacoma has a chrome outline grille, black bumper here. It does have projector beam headlights with LED daytime running lights and then projector fog lights. It has Toyota safety sense, so you have pre-collision system, radar cruise control, and then camera for lane departure alert and also automatic high beams. Now, Forerunner has projector beam headlights, projector fog lights. It does have the hood scoop here. No Toyota safety sense, ground clearance. 9.6 inches on the Forerunner, 9.4 inches on the Tacoma. So if you have to go off-roading, you'll know what clearance you have there. Okay, a few specifications. I'm gonna round to the nearest hole number here. Tacoma's a lot longer than the Forerunner. It's 212 inches long, whereas the Forerunner is 191. They're both really close in overall width. 75.2 for Tacoma, 75.8 for Forerunner. The height, that's actually a lot closer than I thought. The Tacoma is 70.6 inches tall, whereas 71.5 inches tall for the Forerunner. Now, gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR. That's important because a lot of businesses are hunting down vehicles that weigh more than 6,000 pounds at the end of the year for tax reasons. And the Forerunner qualifies. This one here is 6,300 pounds. So come see me at Fred Anderson, Jeff Teague to get that end of the year Forerunner. Start with our friend Tacoma here. It has a 3.5 liter V6 engine, Atkinson cycle, dual variable valve timing with intelligence. So it's a very efficient engine, 278 horsepower, 265 foot-pounds of torque. It is a six-speed automatic transmission. Fuel mileage, 18 in the city, 22 in the highway. The gas tank for the Tacoma is 21.1 gallons. 1.21 gigawatts, 1.21 gigawatts, Marty. Tacoma, I come from the land down under. So down under, we've got skid plates that protect the valuable lower components so you can go off-roading and not have to worry about going through brush and messing stuff up. It has a sport tuned suspension with Bilstein shocks, as you can see. Forerunner under the hood, it's a 4.0 liter V6 engine, dual independent variable valve timing with intelligence, 270 horsepower, 278 foot pounds of torque. It's a five speed automatic transmission here. And just notice some sound proofing material here. Also has hydraulic lifts and not the prop rod. I'm a big fan of the lifts. Gas mileage, 17 in the city, 20 on the highway, and the gas tank is 23.0 gallons. Down under on the Forerunner, perhaps the dingo ate your baby. You'll see skid plates here, also protecting those components. It has front and rear stabilizer bars. And remember that you can also get Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System, KDSS, which actually adjusts those stabilizer bars so that you can have the best experience either on the highway and off-roading. Now comparing the backs, LED tail lights on the Forerunner does not have LED tail lights. Tow capacity 6,400 pounds, 5,000 pounds. Now, backup camera right here. You get two different configuration options. You can have the sliding cargo deck or you can have nothing there. Let me move this and then you pull this. And what it does is it becomes like a workbench or a tailgating bench or whatever you want it to be, but it does hold 440 pounds. So you can sit on it without too much worry. And it does have a grounded outlet right here that's operated and controlled from the front and a circular power port as well. But remember you can do nothing here 
and then the back is just a little bit lower or the cargo deck. No third row option in this one. Now, Tacoma, you see the four and seven pin connectors right here. It has a chrome bumper. And then this is a slowly lowering and removable tailgate has a composite bed. The configurations for this one are five foot as you see here or one foot longer to be a six foot bed. That's called the long bed. Then deck rail components right here. You can put in some cleats and they hold and tie down cargo that you might be carrying. And a grounded outlet as well. You can also bungee things down and tie them down as well. Side pocket, no side pocket in this one. Keep mind on that one. Today's video is brought to you by Toyota Jeff YouTube channel, your source for everything in the world of Toyota. Subscribe today. I will not stop spinning until you subscribe. Hit subscribe, subscribe, hit it, hit it, holla. Looking through the eyes of a Tacoma, see the Forerunner in the background. I feel like the Forerunner has more legroom than the Tacoma does. Now, don't be fooled by smoke and mirrors. I know you won't. This is with the seat all the way forward. That's not realistic. It's not gonna happen very often. This is with the driver's seat mostly back. So you can see the leg room there for your family. And then this is optional all weather mats and optional dual USB ports. So that's helpful so you can all charge. Now to put the seats down, pull that lever. I took the headrest off. You do have to take the headrest off. Pull that strap. And now you've got a nice solid uh, bench area that you can actually stack your luggage up and get more cargo room. And now our friend Forerunner. See the legroom space here. This is with the seats forward just a little bit, but pretty comfortable for most drivers. It does have rear seat vents and then circular power ports on either side. And then this has optional dual USB ports down there. So everybody gets to be techies today. Now, pull this, lower the headrest, and then just push this button right here crazy camera angle there and then this also has a nice flat surface and take a look at what you've got for storage with the forerunner this is with the sliding cargo deck but it's a nice 100 percent flat service lots of room for storage hello looking at the controls and dash of the forerunner off-road kind of get a feel a vibe here Look at my interior. And then up top, you'll see multi-train select and also crawl control. And then Tacoma off-road interior. It's really interesting when you see two similar vehicles, yet very different vehicles side by side and see how the engineers chose the fit and finish and to engineer each vehicle interior wise, because we all know interior is super, super important. And up top, you can see multi-terrain select and crawl control as well. The love boat, doo doo doo. Now this is the TRD off-road Tacoma, has sport fabric seats, manually adjusted, but this is lumbar support right here. And two fully automatic front windows. These ones here, you do have to hold them down to go all the way down. Mirror adjustments, the back projector spotlight, and then this is sending grounded power to the back and automatic high beams. Storage has two charging USBs and then cup holder, cell phone holder, more cup holders. Good time to show you bottle holders, two on each side there. And then this is all standard. It's for the back window. USB and iPad jack, the QI Qi wireless charging, and then circular power port. A few differences are gonna become very obvious here. Push button, smart key, start with the Tacoma, but not with the Forerunner that has a key. The control for two wheel to four wheel drive. The air blows out very fast here, you can probably hear it actually. And then this is the Entune audio system. It's Entune premium audio, so you'll get access to Toyota's app suite. Pandora, iHeartRadio, things like that. Also built-in navigation. It's a seven inch touch screen. Very, very easy to use. And then standard is auto dimming rear view mirror. 
lighted vanity mirrors. What is that? And up top here, locking rear diff, multi-terrain select, and then crawl control. Forerunner definitely sounds a lot different on the outside than Tacoma. You can definitely tell a difference. Now standard, you can see on each car, they have standard equipment that might not be available on the other one. So for example, on the Forerunner, it has sport fabric, but it does have a power adjusted driver's seat with lumbar support there. So it goes forward and backward. And then power to the back, brightness of the dash, and then mirror adjustments. Console space here. Has a circular power port in there. And then cup holder, cell phone holder. This is power for the back window. That's with one touch. One touch up, one touch down. Don't have to hold the button. And then here's your control for the four wheel mechanism. You can see it says TRD and cup holder. Tacoma definitely has more USB ports in it. This one has one in the front, but remember optionally, I did add two rear USB ports, circular power port, and nice beefy, chunky, forerunner like temperature controls here. The air also blows out very fast and very cool when you need it to. I'm sure it'll do the same for heat. The standard system on this forerunner off-road is gonna be Entune Audio Plus, which gives you things like satellite radio, uh, weather, traffic, HD radio. This has been upgraded to Entune Premium Audio with navigation, so it's got built-in navigation system. It's a 6.1 inch touchscreen. It's a little bit smaller than Tacoma, and it gives you access to nav and also different pieces of apps you can add the app suite and that'll give you things like pandora iHeartRadio, like i said earlier uh, gas prices just an example of what weather is it'll give you a three-day forecast i'm curious myself not too bad for october up top here lighted vanity mirrors and then we've got active traction control rear locking diff traction control on and off and then multi-terrain select and crawl control as well Compare our wheels here. Tacoma has 16 inch alloy wheels. They are front disc brakes, rear drum brakes. And Forerunner has 17 inch alloy wheels. They're front and rear disc brakes. And another factor to consider is resale value. The best, absolute best resale value in the whole United States right now, car, truck, or SUV is Tacoma. After 36 months, it holds its value about 69% of the original sticker price. And after five years, 61%. The average vehicle is about 33% of its value after five years. That is amazing. And according to Kelly Blue Book, Forerunner is number three on that list for resale value. So either way, you're doing very well financially considering it's a depreciating asset. After 36 months, Forerunner holds its value 65% versus almost 70% with the Forerunner and then 54% after 60 months. So you're doing well either way. Here's the Forerunner window sticker. TRD Off-Road, made in Japan. Gas mileage 17 and 20, averages out to 18. It does have for options sliding rear cargo deck, Entune premium audio, step bars, paint protection. This vehicle here is gonna be about 40,700. Window sticker here for Tacoma, TRD off-road. Gas mileage 18 and 22. It does not have too many extra options on it. Although it does have the Predator Pro step bars, paint protection, all weather mats, cable charging package. Unveiling about 39.2. So who wins today's battle? Tacoma Off-Road or Forerunner Off-Road? You decide by writing in the comment section your choice, which one you'd buy if you could, and I'll see you next time.